a shift to the Green Party, the Kinney or Nader will not be a quick fix. Just like voting for Ron Paul wouldn't be a quick fix. That's kind of my commentary here. And I'm interjecting this into um, Chris Hedges' commentary. But it will require years in the wilderness. We will again be told that Democrats are the least worst possible choice. And the Republicans will claim the same thing. We will be bombarded from all sides about hope and change and broken promises. And we will be made to feel afraid. But if we again acquiesce, We will be reduced to a sad and pathetic footnote in our own country or elsewhere for that matter. The transformation from a republic in a democratic state into a totalitarian corporate state is almost complete. Isolation and ridicule. Ask Nader or McKinney is the cost of defying power, speaking the truth and building movements. Anger at injustice, as Martin Luther King wrote, is the political expression of love. And it is vital that this anger becomes our own. We have historical precedents to fall upon. Social change does not come about through elections or through voting. It is delivered through activism, organizing and mobilization that empower groups to confront the hegemony of the corporate state and the power elite. You know, this is going on in many countries today. You see people in Burma out on the streets. You see people in Iran going out on the streets. The longer as Chris Hedges states, the longer socialism <laughs> is identified with the corporate policies of the Democratic Party, the longer we allow the right wing to drag or tag Obama as a socialist when he is absolutely the exact opposite. So the more we stay silent the more ineffectual we become. The right-wing mantra of Obama is the socialist repeated over and over is a historical lie. You know, Gingrich says, by any standard of government control of the economy, he's a socialist. <laughs> I 
hasn't anybody ever looked up what the definition of socialism actually means? It isn't some top-down ideology. And it's oftentimes confused with uh, the Soviet Union, the Stalinist regime, and all that. Basically, a lot of art institutions right now are socialist. And there's nothing, nothing whatsoever wrong with it. Only people don't identify themselves as socialists because it's become such a dirty word. A dirty word just like equality or getting a chance from the bottom up to succeed. the hypocrisy and an aptitude of the Democrats become, in the eyes of the general public, therefore, the hypocrisy and the ineptitude of the liberals, including myself and others like me, and rightfully so, because we, we're not doing a goddamn thing. Most Liberals are still on the bandwagon of Obama when we actually have some things in common, you know, with the Tea Party people. Not everything, granted, not everything. But once the level of frustration in this country rises to chaotic levels, like they did in Chile after the earthquake yesterday. You will see people coalescing. And it's, after that, you know, it's not going to be too pretty. You know, we can send a message to independent parties and their supporters that yes, you're not alone. It may take years. We have to build something. But right now, whatever we are facing is not going to work the way it's being done from the top. Basically, you know, that's all Chris Hedges was saying. And if you are, if you don't want to listen to it, it's all right. You know, I, I, I'm not going to bash you over the head with it, and I'm not going to raise my weapon to kill you if you think otherwise. But according to the heat messages that I'm getting now, uh, evidently, You're all too quick to basically blow me away. Okay, that's it.